What do you think of when you hear the term mental health? Some of us may associate mental health with mental illness, which includes clinical diagnoses such as depression and bipolar disorder. But did you know we all have mental health? Hi, I'm Josie Rudolphy. And I'm Courtney Cuthbertson. And we're both extension specialists with the University of Illinois. In today's mental health moment, we're going to explain what mental health is and why mental health is as important as physical health. If I asked you to rate your physical health, some of you might rate your physical health as excellent and others may rate their physical health as good or fair. We recognize a spectrum of physical health ranging from excellent to poor. Health is not only the absence of disease, but complete well-being, physically, mentally, and socially. When we think about mental health, this includes how we are doing emotionally, psychologically, and even socially. Our mental health affects how we feel, how we think, and how we act. Mental health is important across the lifespan from early childhood into older adulthood. Now, what if I asked you to rate your mental health? Like physical health, mental health exists on a spectrum. At times, we may find ourselves mentally unhealthy, not like, unlike being physically unhealthy. Imagine a time when you were feeling extremely overwhelmed, alone, or stressed. The ways we think, feel, and act may be very different during those times than they are when we do not feel overwhelmed, alone, or stressed, or even from those times when we feel very well. When we are at our most mentally healthy, we typically realize our full potential, can cope with stress in healthy ways, and work productively. Just like there are risk factors for physical health conditions, such as an improper diet or a sedentary lifestyle, there are risk factors for mental health conditions as well. These include family history of mental illness, stressful life situations or trauma, and social isolation. However, it's important to realize that while these conditions increase one's risk, they do not guarantee the development of mental health conditions. This underscores the importance of maintaining our mental health and preventing the onset of such conditions or learning how to manage with them. On the flip side of risk factors are protective factors or those things that help us to work towards or maintain being mentally well. For example, connecting with other people, supportive relationships with family, and having self-compassion all help. In the next several weeks, we challenge you to take note of your mental health. How would you rate your own mental health? Keep a record over time, maybe in a notes app on your phone, on a calendar, or in a journal or a notebook. How can you improve your mental health? This recording is the first of many in which we will explore strategies and activities to improve and maintain mental health. We hope you join us next time for another Moment for Mental Health.